Well, a group in Lisbon is using their paintings and murals to help fight vandalism. First News reporter Jacob Thompson went down and spoke with the group today. He joins us now live in the studio with that story, new at 10. Jacob? Yeah, Ke yeah Keely, graffiti is something that you might see along trains or underpasses of highways, and sometimes they tend to send a negative message. Well, one local youth group is helping fight this problem by painting a more positive message. If you go down the bike path on the Green Ray Trail in Lisbon, you'll notice the newly painted murals on the underpass of Route 30. Murals of angel wings, flowers, tunnels, and other paintings to cover up what was there before. I could never come down here when I was a kid because of all the mean writings. Mean things were on all over the uh, spray painted all over the, the uh, pillars as well as this uh, support over here. And I just decided that I, I, I had to do something. Phil Bartholomew is the adult leader of the multi-denominational group LIFT, which stands for Lifting Youth Following Truth. He says at first they tried to do a simple cover-up job. Since we started on this project, we, uh, we first painted over it, just a, a flat paint over, uh, which was a lot like the teacher washing the blackboard and then leaving the room, and it immediately came back. But some of the kids in the group were really happy to take part in making the project something more than just a coat of paint. I thought it'd be fun to do. It's something that's going to help our community instead of giving people a way to destroy it. It's nice to know that I cleaned up, that I helped clean up the community and help it look better. Bartholomew says the group is ready to fix it if it gets vandalized again. If we, uh, if we have to come in and fix it, then we'll come in and fix it. Hopefully, we will have provided enough of a variety that uh, everybody can find a little something and together we can own this as a, uh, as a benefit to the community. Now that it's finished, it's just something they believe the community will truly enjoy. Now families can enjoy the artwork and they can take photos here and just have fun. Now the group plans on coming back and touching up the murals as they see needed. But for now, live in the studio, Jacob Thompson, WKBN 27 First News.